This is what it feels like. This is what it looks like. Telemium, GNC, Econ, Surgeon, ENCO. Procedure. I was the flight director on this console for uh, Gene Cernan's liftoff from the moon. Roger, we're going for liftoff here, Capcom. It was a uh, celebratory mood, but we looked very somberly at our past. And we hoped that somewhere, somehow, someday, we would be able to carry the work that we had been doing into the future. Gene Cernan did a fantastic job on Apollo 17, along with Jack Smith. They were a great pair. Nobody could have done it any better. Few events have ever marked so clearly the passage of history from one epoch to another. Houston, here's the crew of Apollo 17, Spaceship America. To Gene Cernan, Jack Schmidt, and Ron Evans, we say Godspeed, you safely back to this good earth. Here we are, 180,000 miles from the earth. We're moving along at 10,000 miles an hour. And I had the opportunity to go outside the spacecraft to retrieve some film cassettes. And I'll tell you, if you ever want to be a spaceman, that's the time. When you're out there in that vacuum of space, and the old thing between you and that vacuum is your spacesuit. We have one more big thing, re-entry into the atmosphere, and that's another one of those things you have no choice to make except to do it. You're falling like a bathtub. And then at 10,000 feet, I believe it was, or thereabouts, we deploy the parachutes. If you didn't see those parachutes blossoming out in front of you, it wouldn't be a very good day. And there was a ship right there. What a gorgeous, beautiful sight. What an ending. like home and uh, but I do want to say one thing there are, there are no small people in this program there are no small people on Apollo 17 doesn't make any difference whether you swept out the white room or whether you passed coffee in MCC or whether you kept the sharks or radio recovery everybody on this flight was a big man there are no little guys and if I can bow just a quick phrase or a quick word we stood on the shoulders of giants and I thank you for those shoulders and I want to thank you all for coming out. I say that for the whole crew. And uh, I'll leave you with one thought that we, uh, we've evolved into space and let's keep going there. We busted that door to the future open. We busted it open for those walking in our footsteps to go on through it. For the first time in nearly 
half a century, NASA has built a rocket that can send astronauts back to the moon. The space launch system Artemis. NASA is now hoping Artemis 3, a moon landing using SpaceX's Starship, happens sometime in 2025. That crew will include the first female moonwalker. left his footprints on the moon, but there is no question that we're going back. Their future is going to be dependent upon what we did a half a century ago. I'd like to be here to congratulate him, to thank him, and ask him what people ask me all the time. What did it feel like? Enjoy it. Take advantage of the opportunity. Don't take anything for granted. Be prepared for what you don't expect to happen. And know that you, whoever you are, wherever you are, can do it, not only do it, but can do it better than it's ever been done before. still part, part of the, the team, team. Yep. yep and 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 we will not stop until that one small step does become one giant leap until it becomes one giant leap yep.